So for today's LaunchBox setup guide, I'm going to get you up and running with Xbox. So we're going to connect LaunchBox with one of the best emulators around for the original OG Xbox or original Xbox, however you want to put it. And I'm going to go through some video settings and also which files you need and also which game extension files you need to get this up and running. So check this one out. Okay, so first things first, if you're new to my channel and you like this video today, just hit notifications and subscribe so you get the content as I upload it. I'm also uploading other content for front-end systems such as Retrobat, Batacera, and occasionally Retroarch. So let's get into this. First thing we're going to need to do is actually download Zemu. Before I actually download this, I'm going to just take you to compatibility. And if we look at the scale at the top, everything green and deemed as playable are literally playable. They're not going to be 100% perfect, but you'll likely get through the game very happy. Now, we've only got 3% just here, which is deemed as perfect by the developers of Zemu. But like I say, the green ones are perfectly fine majority of the time. So what we're going to do is just download Zemu, and I'm going to be pairing this with LaunchBox 13.6, which I set it up for you a few days ago. So we've got a couple of options here. Uh, we got download for Mac OS, and we got download for for Windows, so obviously I'm going to be using Windows for this. So let's just download this. And once you've downloaded it, you're going to get a zip file. So let's just open that zip file and we can now close down the Zemu website. So on my desktop, I'm going to just create a new folder. So right click and new and folder. And I'm going to just call this new folder I've just created Zemu or you can call it Xbox, it doesn't really matter. Right, so what we're gonna do is just drag these contents from that zip file we just downloaded into that Zemu folder. And let's just set up the emulator itself. So if we go inside that folder and we're gonna open up Zemu, we got a few files to put in place and should you get Windows protected your PC pop-up, just go to more info, run anyway, so first thing we need to do is just configure it. So what we're going to do is go to machine. And if we just drop down to system, just here, you're going to see MCPX, flash ROM and hard disk. So I'm going to go through the files you need for this. So we're going to start with MCPX ROM. So if we just go to the little paper just here, left click on it and just locate where the files are located. And I've got them stored in my files folder. So the one we're going to select for MCPX is literally the file I've got here, which is MCPX underscore 1.0.bin. So let's just select that one. And you're going to notice application restart required to apply settings. And we're going to do that shortly after we've applied these other two files. So the next one we're going to do is flash ROM BIOS. Again, if we click on the little paper just here, and the one we're going to use for this is complex underscore 4627.bin. And make sure you've got this file because it's the best, most compatible with your Xbox games. And finally, we've got hard disk. So let's just left click again on the paper. And the file you need for this one is xbox underscore hdd dot q cow 2 so double left click on that one now you've got one left which is your eprom file but zemu sets this file up for itself so next thing we're going to do is restart zemu so let's just close this down and we're going to go to machine and just simply go to exit so let's reopen zemu and everything is now in place So I'm going to just quickly test this emulator with my VEX game, which is an ISO image. And ISO is the images or rather the file extension that I totally recommend for this emulator for your best performance. So what I did is just made a copy of my disk and I used software to create an ISO image out of this. Uh, so let's go to machine and let's just test this is actually working. So machine, load disk, and my game is loaded. 
located on my desktop. So I'm going to just double left click on Vex. And from here, I'm going to go back to machine and reset. And that should now boot us up straight into the game. And here we go. As we can see, working perfectly fine. This was actually one of the first original Xbox games I actually owned at the day, and I totally recommend this game. So before linking this up with Launchbox, we need to apply a setting, and we need to make this boot into full screen. So if I open up Zemu again, And I go to machine and if I go to display what I'm gonna do is just go down to full screen on startup so once this game boots up we're gonna go straight into full screen so just shut that down and what we're gonna do next is just actually open up launch box and this is the latest version 13.6 I did do a setup guide on this the other day so first things first, we need to go to Tools and we need to link Zemu Emulator with this. So if I just go to Tools, I'm going to go to Manage, Emulators. And from here, I'm going to go to Add. And under Emulator Name, I'm going to just type in Zemu. And Application Path, we're going to find the XC file of Zemu, which actually opens up that emulator. So I'm going to go to Browse, Desktop. Zemu and I'm going to just double left click on Zemu just here and everything including line parameters is now set in the place and it's going to open up in full screen so once that's done I'm going to just go to OK and close down this now we need to import our game which is Vex so I'm going to go back to tools I'm going to go to import ROM files and this brings up the wizard so very easy process we're going to go to next in my game is a file, it's not in a folder. If you've got Xbox games, put them into a folder. And for this, just go to add folder. But Seaman, I've only got a game on its own and it's not in a folder. I'm going to just go to add files and look for my game, which is just here, Vex. And I'm going to press next. And what platform are you importing games for? So this is going to be typed as Microsoft Xbox or you could just put Xbox in. But I'm gonna just scroll down until I find Microsoft Xbox. And just make sure it shows default platforms is checked to, and I'm gonna press next. Choose an emulator, so we just set that up, and I'm gonna press next. And use the files in their current location, so we don't wanna move our games around. If you do wanna move your games around into different locations, then choose one of the first two options here for me i'm going to just go to use the files in their current location and we want to keep this checked as well uh, metadata is going to search for artwork for our game and i'm going to press next and the next part just be careful what you're selecting here because you might end up downloading lots of artwork that you're not going to use and it's going to take up room or space on your hard drive uh, for this set of god i'm going to just check all uh, if you want to check none then just simply press check none i'm going to check all for this and i'm going to press next and configure emu movies is optional that's going to get you preview videos uh, through big box but i'm not going to do that i'm going to press next and i'm going to press next again and here we go here's our game so before we actually import our game just make sure under the title that is named correctly in my case it is vex ve double x and finish and as we can see that's now scanning for metadata and that's going to give us all the information for the game such as a little bit of storyline to go with it a bit of narrative and uh release dates that type of thing this is what this is doing right now just gathering all the information about our game, what we're importing. And here we go. So it's now successfully imported our game and it's got a nice 3D cover art box with it. So let me just say, if you're not using Big Box and you want to make the most out of the free version of Launchbox, you can actually change this image. Just go to image group 
and you can select a different piece of artwork just here. Uh, some's going to work, some isn't going to work. Uh, as you can see, some's working for me and some isn't. Uh, let's just go back to 3D boxes and let's actually open up Vex. Let's see if this is imported and our emulators working. But before I do that, let me just right click on this. And there we go. We can see it's uh, actually linked with Zemu right now. So let's just go to play. And this should now open in full screen, which it is. And I'm also going to go through some video settings in a minute, which is going to get us the best look for these old games. So I'm going to just use my cursor just here and I'm going to show you some video settings. So if we go to machine and we go to display, what we can do here is actually change the size of the window. Uh, so that's up to you for whatever window screen you're using. Uh, let me just say keep vertical refresh sync to checked. This is going to reduce any screen tear. And under display mode, uh, we got option here to stretch our image like you can see in the background. Uh, that's entirely up to you. And we've also got aspect ratio. So very limited number of original Xbox games actually support the 16 by 9 ratio. But the options here. And another really good feature with Zemu is the internal resolution scale. So as you can see, mine is actually put on three times. If you've got a lower end computer uh, and you try bumping these up and your game lags, uh, then I would suggest you putting this back down to one times. And internal resolution is going to pretty much give us internal <laughs> resolution. So it's going to make our game look so much nicer. If you go up to five times, after five times, some games become very laggy, even if you're running uh, games with some really good hardware. Let me show you an example. If I crack this up to 10 times, the game gets very laggy and very choppy. So just experiment with this option of internal resolution. And if you want to know how many FPS this game is running or whatever game you're going to be running, if we just go to debug, if you go to video, it will tell you just here, this game is currently running uh, between mm, mid 40s to 60 FPS, which is quite acceptable. So that's not too bad. So that's it for my Xbox and Launchbox 13.6 setup guide today. Like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you've seen today, hit notifications and also subscribe so you don't miss upcoming Launchbox content and various other retro emulation content that I upload almost daily nowadays. Uh, till next time, stay retro.